And here we go. We got Timo in the northeast corner as the red Terran player. And Tino Fink, kind of Fink, as the Protoss player in the southwest. Tinovink, I believe. Um, I'm surprised I misread that. Tinovink, yeah. pretty easy. <laughs> he doesn't. He hasn't uh, capitalized it in any sort of easy way. I was a little bit confused at first too. Maybe we should just call him Tino Fink, just to mess with him. <laughs> I couldn't resist that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Too bad we don't hear hear the crowd. That would be uh, <laughs> yeah. That would be fantastic. Those of you who don't know where that's from, uh, Huck was playing at MLG yesterday, or maybe two days ago. I'm not sure. In um, two days ago. Yesterday. Who was it? Was Wait. Huck versus who? Uh, it was Huck versus Select for Select. the Huck right. Select. Now, second, Huck third place match. Mothership and uh, the crowd just went crazy when he, they saw that mothership going down. Everyone was just, just shouting and cheering and Huck types in the chat. That's just Halo. Don't worry. <laughs> These are earlier, and then and the whole the whole circumstance was that the the stream there was a problem with the stream. It wasn't going up on the big screen, so the crowd was chanting "Show the game." And Huck misheard actually. He thought they were chanting "Mothership," so he says, "Oh no! If I go Mothership now, you'll know it's coming because you can hear them." And then he goes Mothership, and then we see the uh, "Don't worry, that's Halo," and the crowd is just going crazy. It was a, it was a fantastic moment. Yeah, it was very fun to watch. Um, a few people, um, if you listen to the State of the Game podcast, have uh, criticized him for it, saying that he basically threw the game to make the crowd happy. Um, I, I don't see any problem with that, honestly. If if he was willing to do that, and it's not like it's it's very obvious he was doing it to make the crowd happy. He's, uh, Huck always an entertaining you know, player to watch. We've seen Huck do some crazy mothership plays before. Like uh, it's true. A mothership once, and it was like in a real tournament match, with money on the line, and it was a mothership rush. Like how often was that the Desert that? Oasis it game? Work. Yes, yeah, I, I I remember the Desert Oasis game. It did work for him that time. So yeah, he then he did it again. Actually, I think it was uh, him versus Drooby on a on a uh, Steps of War match. So TVP, he did a mothership rush, and he freaking worked. He moved it forward, and he even warped in uh, probes and started building cannons in Drooby's base. Yeah, I always thought the war I always thought warping in probes, uh, like going straight to mother, wall yourself in, go straight to mothership, warp in a bunch of probes, use that as your army. That'd be that would be entertaining. I like it. No new pro strategy right there. Oh yeah. Anyways, back to the game at hand, since we have not talked to that about that at all. <laughs> We got Timon going with a one reactor barracks and a second reactor, probably with a tech lab on it, considering he's continuing to mine gas. Over at Tin of Ink's corner, he I think he had his first gas up before the gateway, so got us be seeing some uh, good tech play, especially since he now has two gas up. Throwing down a second gateway with his cyber core and researching warp gate. Oh, look at Looks that. Looks like Tin of Ink might down. be going for gate. We have we have the third gate. Is he gonna throw down a fourth? Come on, don't let us down. Doesn't really need to throw it on the fourth for another for another mm, thirty seconds or so in order to time it with warp gate going up. We do have a proxy pylon uh, in the north side for some warp ins, I believe. Yeah, did you do see that there? Oh, also getting and a stargate. stargate. We may see some proxy void ray rushes, but uh, void ray is significant. Excuse me. Significantly nerfed in the last patch, their damage against buildings and armored units dropped way down. Though they are slightly more effective against uh, unarmored units, uh, uncharged. True. They're still great units, but uh, they they are no longer the oh I have a void raid in your base I lose <laughs> or I win <laughs> that they used to be. Tonight, void Tino finishing up concussive shells, going for stim. Now he has plenty of marines, of course, since he had that reactor barracks out so quickly. I don't really think that uh, the Void Rays are going to be too much of an issue. He's going to be able to deal with them. Tinevink, interestingly enough, I guess he's waiting for Warp Gate tech to finish before and he starts Warp Gate's finishing gateways. right about now. Let's see what he does about those those gateways. Nothing oh, happening this yet. This is going to be so bad. Timon is moving out with his whole force, and all, all it's going to take is for Tinevink to uh, to hold the ramp with sentries, and then he's going to be able to push forward with this Void Ray that he's chrono boosting out and do so much damage with it. And he did see that coming. He has these sentries warping in and a stalker coming back. Great decision by Tenevink. He knows what's coming. I really think he's, if he plays this right, he's going to have a huge advantage.
And Timon has no idea what's what's up that ramp. If he goes to scan off, he may be able to. He may notice and realize he's going to be in trouble. If he tries to attack. Tinnevink was moving forward with that first void ray, but he says, "You know what? I'm going to wait for the second void ray since Timon is so out of position. He's going to wait until he has the forces to handle any marines at home." Yeah, a pair a pair of void rays are very hard to stop. Timon, I feel so bad for you. You're, the, you're but, uh, so we ended happy when you see those void rays. Also, one of the things they did to void rays in the last patches, uh, before they would only do five damage no matter what. Now they do six with an extra bonus to armored, even on the uncharged state. So they are better against armored units uncharged, but they are yep. much more. Void rays moving in now, charged. charging up on the refinery. And there they go, they get their full charge and they go straight for the SCVs and oh man, they die so fast. Timon just has nothing at home to deal with this. He's pulling back all his marines, but I think the Taking out the reactor. Oh. damage before the marines get back. Taking out a yeah. ton of SCVs. We have a straight for the command center. I think that's actually the wrong call. He's going to be able to repair the command center with his SCVs until the marines get there. I think he could have should have gone for the supply depots or straight for the SCVs. Now yeah, I think he should have finished off that reactor. Um, they'll take forever to build, but the Marines are coming in now. He needs to get those Void Rays out of there. Oh, Stim goes down. One Void Ray is so close to dying. Oh, no. Out of oh, he's, gonna, he's not going to be able to get that out of those out of the way. Oh, that second, oh, second Void Ray well. goes down. He's controlled by Tinnevink. <laughs> void Ray is just so susceptible to Marine fire. That was so he's... bad. He could have done so much damage with that. Yeah. He, he killed take uh, out quite six a few workers. SCVs. Six SCVs, and he stopped them from mining big for push, a long time, but Void Rays are a shield. large commitment. Oh, we do see a big fight outside the natural. It's a very evenly matched battle, but Guardian Shield, I think, will make the difference here, because Guardian Shield just nullifies those Marines so bad. Oh, Stimpak, though, so up. strong, he has to force field and retreat. Great move by Tinevink. He knows he's not going to be able to win that battle, so he force fields and pulls back. Yeah. More Void Rays oh. coming out from Tinevink. If you're looking, uh, I think what a really good move would have been right there is to uh, try and pull back, wait for the Terran player to waste another stim, and then throw up the the, uh, the force fields and pull back. Timon looking to expand, bringing his uh, his new orbital command over and dropping a bunker. All those all those bio units, so many of them injured due to stim and just volley fire from those stalkers. So Timon in a bit of a tight spot. He's actually not that far behind. Um, he's down two harvesters, but he's actually not mining any gas. I don't know if he did that on purpose, but he's got nothing on gas since that Void Ray attack. And Ten of Ink sends that one probe that he had at, at his uh, Stargate in just to see what's going on, and that might have been a mistake. Tipping his hand to that he's got something behind that. Uh, behind yep, moving that in with screen. two Void Rays again. I don't think he's going to be able to do too much with these Void Rays. I mean, he's got all these Marines. As long as he reacts quickly enough, these Void Rays won't do too much damage. Timon actually doesn't see it yet. Oh, no. And Charging up on the attack. refinery again. Going to take it out before oh, they're fully charged. Timon's pulling back all his Marines at the same time. Tinnevink is moving forward with all his forces straight into the bunker and the Marauders. Oh, so much going on right now. Tinnevink is able to take out the bunker really easily. Also, the Void, the void, void Rays in the back of the base pulling back, just drawing the Marines away. Great strategy so here from Tinnevink. Circling around, going for these, I wonder if he sees these SCVs just chilling here. A little bit of like Michael Rice Snake, he loses Void Rays totally vulnerable when Marines take them out so quickly. But the damage is done, the Stalkers are going to be able to take out this Orbital Command. As and he does. Player will be ahead of an expansion. Yeah. And he does also leave one of Timon's supply depots on fire, and it is going to burn down unless he can get an SCV to it quickly. Uh, Timon has a handful of SCVs not doing anything in the south end of his base here, and that supply depot is going to burn down. He definitely could have controlled that attack a little bit better, but I do just love to see that we're seeing Void Rays in a real attack and not just some strategy that relies on the opponent not seeing it coming. As you usually see with a proxy Void Ray, but this time he actually used it as a strategy to draw his opponent away from the main attack. And void Rays really make so excellent grass. It's tough to deal with Void Rays in the back of your base because you really have to really quickly make the decision how many Marines you want to pull back. What we saw there is Timon pulled all his marines back and he just left the front of his base way too vulnerable to the Protoss Gateway Army. Robo Timon's Facility still... and Twilight Council going down for Tinnevink. And Timon's still not seeing these SCVs in the south end of his base just sitting here not working. Terran player in a really tight spot. You're now in the